Hello everyone and welcome back to Late Impressions. I'm your host Akuma. Today we are playing Sword of Mana, getting near to the end. We've been everywhere on our map. We've seen pretty much everything there is to see. We are on our way to the final battle with Julius right now. This is actually my second time recording this because I tried recording the doing this before. And Mana Sanctuary is quite a maze. I looked around the maze for about 20 minutes, a full episode's worth, before finally finding my way out. And it wasn't really something that I want you guys to watch, so I'm going to try this again. I looked up the actual directions for getting through Mana Sanctuary, and I'm going to see if it's going to work this time. I really hope so, because I don't want to have to stop recording and go through it all again. So let's try this out. Here is Mana Sanctuary. Here's our first enemies. The Earth Basilisk, as I have come to discover they have been called. You'll notice I'm using the axe. I shouldn't be using the axe. Let me switch over. Forgot about that. Oh, what are they weak against? The sword. And also, I'm not using... Well, I guess I am using proper magic. I have been, um... Working for a bit. Off screen. Because I remembered... After... Or I noticed, after I had started to begin this episode, well, I guess this is technically my third time, I was getting ready to record this episode, and I realized we never upgraded Kimmy's staff. She's been using the same staff throughout the entire game. Thank you. So I looked at it, and Kimmy's staff has a base power of one damage. She's been using that staff throughout the entire game. Over 30 episodes in, getting close to the end, and we just finally upgraded Kimmy's staff. Oh my gosh. So I upgraded her staff, and did a few other things. I finally used all those seeds and stuff that we've been holding on to forever. I upgraded all of our weapons that haven't been upgraded. Our axe used to be a steel axe, with grand steel. Think about that for a moment. Moment's over. And here's a new enemy. So I've been fighting the Earth Basilisks quite a bit off-screen. I've actually improved our weapon stats, and I'm going to go ahead and spend a level up. I think that in a battle with Julius, we're going to need a lot of mind. So let's improve our magic defense a bit more. And if you look here on our stats, I have improved our Sickle to level 20, our Axe is now level 14, and the flail is the lowest, at 12. Yeah, I'm actually surprised by this too, but the flail isn't really that good against most of the enemies in here. Which is surprisingly weird, because considering how often I use it, I had expected it to be around level 30 right now. I mean, the nux are level 46, and the spear is quite a bit more, but I digress. I've been killing a whole bunch of monsters using the axe and the sickle to try to upgrade their powers or their skill levels. How did I go that straight to the right? I actually have to go down this time. So we've been upgrading some other stuff off screen. I've only had one level up, and I just got another one a moment ago. So there's been a little bit of off screen work, nothing too serious. But that's just what's been going on. I haven't grabbed any chests off screen, so... That was kind of hard a couple times. Yeah, I actually uh, reloaded the previous save because of all the chests that I'd grabbed and all the enemies I'd fought. I just didn't want to go through any of that stuff again. Now, they say in the guide that I looked at, to get through Mana Sanctuary, you have to go left, up, right, down, and then follow the path. It looked like the path was going to the right, so hopefully we shouldn't find anything else. Or at least find our way back to the start. Come here. Come here. Come here, Cloud. You red genie. Come here. Die, 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 die. You coward. Thank you. Call him a coward and you can kill him easily. Hey, we got through! Awesome! Yes, five minutes. What happened? Okay, he's stronger than I gave him credit for. I figured Sanctuary was... 
Goddess blasts all eternal. Oh, come on, there should have been a music change there. Something more dramatic and powerful. Hello, fishy. Whoa! Fishy can throw a spear at us. I will call you Triton. Would you like some Triton stew, Kimmy? There's probably some in here. Hmm. Triton stew seems a little dangerous. You better not have any. I'm tempted to go over there and see if that's a hole I can explore, but I don't want to have to go through the Man's Sanctuary maze again. Oops. My finger slipped to hit the wrong button. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna get there soon, though. I've actually defeated over 100 of these Earth Basilisks off-screen, just getting money to upgrade all of our equipment and stuff. And I have used... I can't remember how I said it before. I have used all the seeds and fruit and stuff to upgrade our armor and weapons and a whole bunch of other stuff until it said I can't upgrade anymore. Our armor had very little magic defense on it, and I've improved that all the way. But it seems like nothing else is going to be upgraded, and I didn't spend them all, I believe. Although I did run out of seeds. Turns out that the tree inside our hothouse can grow up to four seeds at a time. Where is this? I was expecting that to be an enemy. Where are the enemies? Oh, is Nico in here? Can I read this? No. Well, this is a dead end. That's terrific. Unless I'm supposed to come here during the day? Well, that kind of stinks. Stupid dead end. I wonder if I'm out of the maze, actually. Now that I've seen that cutscene. Ah, uh, this doesn't initially look familiar. Ooh, sir. Die. Keep following the path, keep following the path. Oh, this is the right path, and I wasn't supposed to go down. Whoa! Oh my gosh, that was quite an entrance. I thought I found some super strong enemy for a second. Nah, these things are weak. I figured I'd get a chest from all that. Thank goodness. I keep using my healing magic whenever my health gets low. I don't use the healing items all that often. I might have to start doing that. Especially in the final battle. Unless my crystal weapons are too much for poor Julius to handle. Oh, looks like we're getting somewhere. I'd say so. Hey! A special mushroom! Boom. Yeah, your camouflage ain't gonna work here, dude. You're still giving me a marble? Really? I mean, I've got crystals, I'm paid on stones. I've got a paid on sickle now, by the way. I assume that's an entrance, but I'm gonna go down here and grab the chest first. Uh, as if we don't have enough of those. Anything? Ah. I was hoping I could kill him from up there. I can kill you from down here! Or not. Well, not in the first hit, anyway. What's over here? 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 Nothing. This is a dead end. I was all excited! I thought we got somewhere, finally! Ugh. Mana Sanctuary. One heck of a maze. Just keep on going, I guess. I'll find my way there eventually. I'm guessing this is gonna be another dead end. Oh! Suddenly enemies! Die, 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 die. A wallet of magic powers. Ash wood. Is that strong? I can't remember. I think one of us needs gauntlets of some sort. We didn't have the right materials for it anymore, but 
I think we could probably use some wood to make new gauntlets. Assuming we ever go back to the hothouse, we get another one. I have a feeling this is the goddess tree. Maybe it's just a statue in front of it. It's kind of small, though. It looks nothing like the box art. Or the logo. I guess we're gonna go down! Weren't we here already? I have a strong feeling we were here already. Oh no, I hope I'm not getting lost again. That would be bad. I'm going. I was up there before, right? This is. Wait, this doesn't look familiar now. Oh, hey, we got somewhere. Woohoo! You were there with us. Why didn't you stay and watch? That's just a shadow. Demagon. Uh oh. Okay, I guess we have one more boss to fight before Julius. Oh, what's this guy gonna be? What the heck? Oh jeez, oh my gosh, are you a dragon? Oh my god, Okay, um... I will attack your tail. Are you kidding me? That was the Guardian of Sanctuary. Crystal weapons are freaking amazing, and they kind of ruin the game. Okay, if you if you have a copy of Sword of Mana and you're playing through the game, please don't get crystal weapons, because I just ruined a really awesome boss. I was going to attack his head, and I saw his tail, and I figured it would be like the plant where you have to take out multiple parts, but I killed that dragon by stabbing him in the tail with my sword. What the heck? That was the most awesome boss I've ever seen, and he lasted... Probably the least amount of time. Golem was cooler. Okay, well, to be fair, I did try to make Golem last a bit, but... Dude, there was a dragon. It scared me. I wanted to attack right away. I don't know how I'm going to handle Julius. Okay, these aren't... You aren't... I might have to, like, pull out the flail when I fight Julius or something to make the battle last longer. Although that might be getting a little cocky. We'll see what happens. Pretty sure I have an Orca or a Calcum flail at this point. I have an Orca Calcum. <laughs> I'm like a whale. I can't speak whale. Chest for me? Chest contains smoke. Nope. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Much better than smoke. Speaking of smoke, my man, my magic power is almost all the way filled up still. I am very surprised by this. Oh, we're in Mana Temple now too, not Mana Sanctuary. Ugh. Die, double head. Oh, I got a double hit. Oh, because I'm using two spirits. Yeah, that's probably why. Boom. Ah, now I can kill him in one hit. Man, I'm strong. I hope I don't turn out to be the bad guy in the future. Crystal sword beats all. Rock, paper, crystal sword. Oh, okay, so it mostly beats all. Oh, here. Kimmy. Probably switch to a different weapon, but... Okay, Kimmy's magic is pretty much gone at this point. That is not a good thing. What I could do is switch to Kimmy and make her sit, I think. I've never actually tried that. Not since the early episode when I went through the first cave with her, but... That might take a little bit more time than I'm willing to spend. Oh, hey, weren't we looking at this from the dead end earlier? Yeah. So we could technically escape from here if we wanted to. They're giving us a whole bunch of supplies to tempt us to go back and improve some stuff, but yeah, I don't think so. Anything down here? 
Nothing? Okay. Keep on going, keep on going. And... Jalabosh! Make the trolls go crazy. Ninjas, you are not. This is mine. Thank you. I earned it. Small seed. I earned somebody's strawberry leftovers. Actually, considering the fruits in this game... I don't think they have strawberries, which is disappointing because strawberries taste amazing. That was a weird looking guy. We saw one of them before in uh, Subsea Volcano, but this one had a different tone, so I guess he was stronger, but... Those things are weird. What the heck are they? They look like a kappa. See, doesn't it look like a, ca look like a kappa? Now it looks like a skeleton of death, but whatever. Go over to Google and look up pictures of Kappa if you don't know what a Kappa is. You'll see what I'm talking about. We haven't had, had a wisp icon before. That's cool. Anybody in here? More Kappa! You're dead. Another Triton! You're dead. Three chests! One of these is going to be an enemy. One of these things is not like the others. One of these things... Okay, never mind. Honey elixir. Honey elixir! Wait a second. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Remember back at Topple Village when we found an alchemist who wanted honey and honey elixir and honey onion or something like that? We just found honey elixir. Only now that it, do they give it to us when we've reached the point of no return. Thanks, game. Thanks a lot. That was something I was really looking forward to doing, too. I found a honey onion a long time ago! Or maybe I grew one on the tree and didn't show you guys, but we found honey onion a long time ago. And only now do we get honey elixir. Unless, was he going to make honey elixir for us? Maybe it's in recovery. Yeah. Recovers all HP. Okay. I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. In the event that my health unfortunately gets down to the double digits, or... Mana Goddess forbid, single digits... I'll probably have to use the Honey Elixir. I prefer to keep healing though. I don't want to tempt it to get that low. Man, aren't we there yet? Keep following the path, keep following the path. Still on the fourth floor of Mana Temple. You guys are kind of getting claustrophobic here. I'm a master of the sword! Thank you. Masters of the sword get presents. Oh, uh, just what I wanted. Acupuncture! Come on, Kimmy. Come on. Back in Mana Temple. Are we making progress, by the way? I feel like we're not. We're making progress. Oh boy. Okay, I think it's safe to say, for sure, that behind this door is Julius. <sighs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. We defeated the Guardian of the Sanctuary. We're pretty deep into the temple at this point. I think next episode... We're going to fight Julius. It's been quite a trip, but it's pretty much guaranteed at this point. We're going to finish up Sword of Mana next episode. Thank you for joining me for this episode and journey through Sword of Mana. If you like this video, leave a like, and come back next episode when we go on to fight Julius. I'm quite certain of this. This will be a theme. Next episode, we're going to be fighting Julius. Oh wow. Come back then, and we're going to start doing some stuff. See you next episode.